Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Daisy, why do we always have to watch this? I don't like this show. I love family life. It's so great. I don't care. I don't want to watch it. Girls, enough fighting, please. Besides, it's time for you to get ready. Let's start your night routine. Uh, Daisy can go take a shower first. I don't want to. Girls, you're both young, which means you have a, a curfew. And, well, not really a curfew. More like a bedtime. Because <laughs> you're not really allowed to go out by yourself yet. <laughs> Forget I said curfew. Dad, do you even know what you're talking about? Of course he does. He's the dad. Duh, he knows everything. That's right. I know everything. And I'm hoping that you're at least like 16 years old before you realize I really don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> dad, you're so funny. We got the best dad in the whole world. Oh, Molly, you're still not going to be able to watch more TV, so quit trying to talk me into it. Me? I was just trying to say something nice. You're so handsome too, Dad. And the world's best, Dad. Molly, go upstairs and get ready. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Oh, I hate being a little kid. I never get to make any of my own decisions. Oh, fine, I'll brush my teeth. Can't even reach the sink. Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm in the sink. That's okay. I'll just take a bath while I'm in here. Oh, Molly's taking a bath in the sink, Dad. What? Girls, can I just have one night where you're not bad? Us bad? No. <laughs> We're the best toddlers in the world. Mm. I love this orange toothpaste. Molly, that's not toothpaste. That's candy. Oh, whoopsie. Guess I shouldn't be brushing my teeth with that. <laughs> you are so annoying sometimes. Me? I'm not annoying. You're annoying. Where'd you go? I'm currently in the bathtub. Get out of my bed, Molly! <laughs> my sister is so annoying. No, I'm not, Molly. Why are you jumping on the toilet? Oh my gosh, Molly's gonna fall in the toilet. No, I'm not. Yes, you were, Molly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, I fell in the toilet! I had a feeling that might happen. <laughs> well, I guess I should go to bed now. Oops, I forgot my pajamas. That's better! Your pajamas aren't as cute as mine. You know what, Daisy? I've, I've had about enough of you. <laughs> well, 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 how did you do that, Molly? Do what? I didn't do anything. And why are you wearing that weird outfit all of a sudden? You, 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 you had some sort of weird thing happening. What happened to your teeth, Daisy? <laughs> what do you mean? What's wrong with my teeth? Um, <laughs> nothing. Your teeth are just fine. But maybe tomorrow you want to make an appointment with the dentist. <laughs> What's wrong with them? How come, how come everything in my mouth feels so cold? That's because half your teeth are missing, so a breeze is coming in. What? What are you talking about? I'm not missing half my teeth. <laughs> uh, I don't know how you got like that, but you look hilarious. Well, good night. <laughs> Molly, I don't know what happened, but this is weird. Time to wake up. Come on, you don't want to be late for preschool. What? Ugh, oh, too early, Dad. It's not even 5 a.m. I know, but we have a lot to get done today. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe that you're waking me up so early. Ugh, but I guess it's a good time to ask you a question. And I, I hope you say yes. Please, 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 please. Molly, he doesn't even know what the question is. You keep begging him. He's definitely going to say no. Daisy, shh. Or I'll turn you into a toothless whatever you were, farmer or whatever. <laughs> whatever, Molly. That was weird though, wasn't it? Thought maybe I dreamt that. What are you girls even talking about? Oh, nothing. Dad, I was wondering, could my best friend Brookie Cookie spend the night? Oh, that's a great idea. A full sleepover. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, girls, but no. What? 
Why? Uh, we haven't been that bad, have we? Yeah, and even if she's bad, Pookie's my friend too, and I want her to come over. Well, I guess it's about time I told you the truth. The truth? What? What? What truth? Um, girls, you can't have sleepovers because you come from a long family line of witches. What? Witches? Ah. Oh my gosh, I thought that might be the reaction. Daisy, are you okay? She's fine. She's just in total shock. Molly, that explains a lot about last night. You have the magic already. What? I do? What? Wait, you're too young to have the magic yet. She did, though, Dad. She she shot magic out of her eyes and changed my entire appearance. Whoa. Molly's more powerful than I ever thought possible. I am? Oh, good. I'm going to make sure there's no more homework for the rest of my life ever. Okay, girls. We don't use our powers for bad. Dad, come on. Brookie will understand. She's our best friend. Okay, but... No practicing magic when she's here. Do you understand? We understand, White Molly. Absolutely. I've got to call my friend. Hello? Brookie, it's me, Molly. Oh, hi, Molly. What's up? Are you going to be at preschool today? Yeah. Um, I was just wondering, do you want to sleep over tonight? What? Our first sleepover? I'd love to. Well, I have decided that you're my BFF since I met you the other day at preschool. Oh, you're my BFF too. Our first Oh, uh, one more thing. My annoying sister Daisy's gonna be there. Molly! Oh, it's okay. I like Daisy too. See, Molly told you. <laughs> dad! 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 I'm home for preschool! I'm home for preschool! Oh, I can see that. <laughs> Look at this adorable sleeping puppy. Are we gonna adopt a dog? No, <laughs> probably not anytime soon. Oh, dogs are so cute. We can get a cat. Most witches have a cat. Um, I like dogs better. I want a cat! Of course she does. She'll say anything against me. Of course she will. If I want a dog, she wants a cat. If I want a cat, she wants a dog. No, we just want a cat because I like him. Okay, girls. Okay, no fighting. So when is Brookie Cookie getting here for your sleepover? Any minute now. I'm just waiting, 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 waiting. You are so frustrating, Molly. Ah, oh, Dad, can I do a spell to change my sister into a newt? No, you cannot. No magic. Hello, is this the right house? Brookie, you found us. Come on in. Well, uh, my mom dropped me off. I wanted to make sure it was the right place. Whoa, your house is super nice, Molly. Thanks, Brookie. So, uh, it's a sleepover. What should we do first? Dad, we don't know what happens at sleepovers besides going to sleep. Well, you can watch a movie. You can eat some popcorn. What? You could ride your bikes outside as long as it's not dark out yet. Wow, sleepover so amazing. You can also play truth or dare. Yeah, let's do that. Come on. You could go to your room, Molly. Sure, I'll show you my room. Uh, fortunately, I have to share it with someone really annoying. She's part monster. I even saw her drool in her sleep. Molly! <laughs> okay, who wants to go first? I do, I do. Well, she is the guest, so we should let her go first. Um... Molly, truth or dare? Dare! <laughs> okay, um, I dare you to do one thing you're not supposed to. Ooh, that might be against the rules. Duh, it's supposed to be against the rules. It's something that I'm not supposed to. Oh, okay, um, well, if it's against the rules, Molly, don't worry about it. I could totally do something I'm not supposed to. I'm going to make money appear out of thin air. What? Molly, no! What? Now she won't even know what I'm doing. Watch this. Whoa, what, what, what's happening? How did that just happen? Ha <laughs> ha! Look at all this cash money, look at all this cash. Look at all this cash money, look at all this cash. O-M-G. Molly, ha, ha, how did you do that? Here, you can have this money if you want it or whatever. Really? You're just going to give me that money? Like, why? Because I don't really need it. It's, it's sort of like magic. <laughs> Molly, Dad said no magic. Ah, oh, whatever, Daisy. Shh. Don't shush me, Molly. Guys, do you always fight like this? I don't have a sister, so I don't know how that works. Pretty much. My sister's annoying all the time. Daisy! Wow, guys, calm down just a little bit, okay? All right, Molly, it's your turn to ask someone. Okay, Brookie, truth or dare? Truth. Okay. I dare you to tell us your deepest secret 
you're not um, able to tell anyone else or you haven't told anyone else. Um, uh, okay, but you can't tell anybody, okay? We won't! Nope, nope, nope! What is that? Uh, Maddie, it looks like some sort of crazy hat. It's been passed down from generation to generation of my family members. What is it? It's, it's a witch's hat. Holy guacamole! Are you serious? You're a witch? Molly, um, I think we don't have any more problems having sleepovers. What? What are you talking about? Well, you see, uh, we have something to tell you, Brookie. We're witches too. What? You are? Yeah, we are. And our dad wasn't going to let us have this sleepover because no one can know. But since you're a witch too... Molly, why are you standing in front of me? Look at my shocked face. My best friend's a witch too. And I'm a witch. It's too much information. Too much! Molly, get out of the way so I can talk to Brookie. Sheesh. Sorry. <laughs> Our dad said that we couldn't have a sleepover because no one could know that we were witches. But since you're a witch too, it makes it completely okay. Wow. Three witches. <laughs> and to think we're all best friends. We could definitely cause some mischief. <laughs> Let's start by mischief here. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, that's not magic. That's just being naughty. Yeah, but it's still fun. Whee! Wait, I could slow down time so we jump really slow. I'm jumping really slow. Oh boy, Molly. Ah, sometimes I wonder how I even got you as a sister. I'm an amazing sister, just admit it. I'm your amazing witch sister. Witch sister? Which one are you? <laughs> the good witch or the bad witch? Um, let's see. Uh, I guess that's still to be determined. Oh, Molly, I hope you're the good witch. You never know. <laughs> wow, it looks like the maternity ward is full of mamas about to have their babies. Such an exciting day. I love when the maternity ward is full. It means so many beautiful babies are going to make their way into the world. Except for my sister. She's going to be ugly. What? Who, who said that? Am, am I hearing things? Hello? Is there a ghost in the hospital? No, it's me over here. My mom's here to have an ugly little bratty baby. I'm the only baby that matters. Oh, <laughs> you must be Laura's daughter, Molly. Yeah, and she doesn't need another baby because I'm perfect. Oh, being a big sister at first is kind of hard, Molly. I know you feel a little jealous, but trust me, you're probably going to love your baby sister very much. I don't think so, lady. I don't think you even know what you're talking about. I'm going to go to my mom's room and see her. Oh, my stomach doesn't feel so good. Oh, that's probably a little bit of gas, Laura. Here, I'm just going to tap on your stomach and everything should be better. And tap, tap, tap. Oh, sorry. Ew, my mom farted. It smells horrible. Ah! Molly, come back here. I'd like to see you, please. What is it, Mom? Can't believe you're going to have another baby. I'm all the baby you need. Oh, Molly, it'll be great to have a little sister. Trust me. I don't think so. Okay, Molly, I think it's almost time for your baby sister to come, so I'm going to have you wait outside, okay? Pull the curtain, please. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to meet her anyway. Oh, do I pull this curtain? I, I can't do it. Why don't you do it, doctor? Isn't that your job? Oh, she's a grumpy one, huh, Laura? Yeah, she's my little demon, that's for sure. That's right. I am a little demon. And don't you forget it! Oh, no. My sister's arrived. Okay, Molly, you can come in now. Your baby sister's arrived. Aren't you excited? No. Ugh. She's, she's ugly. Molly, don't talk about your baby sister that way. Rude. She's such a sweet little angel. She's not an angel. Take it back, Mom. Take it back. Molly, what are you wearing that hat for? And then did, 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 did you grow a tail? Yeah, I'm a little demon. Of course I did. 
I have a halo, Mom, because I'm an angel. Of course you are. You're such a goody two-shoes. So sick of you being my sister. I I hate you as my sister. Molly. Oh, go in the other room. I can't even look at you. You're being so naughty right now. Fine. I don't want to look at you either. I think you're both ugly. <laughs> and now I'm going to jump on the couch. <laughs> I'm jumping on the couch. Ooh. I could make fire in here if I wanted. <laughs> What's that smell? It smells like something's... <gasps> Molly, did you start a fire? Uh, yeah, I was feeling a little cold. I like things nice and hot. Ugh, oh, you're such a little demon. What am I going to do with you? Why can't you be more like your sister? I did all the dishes and I vacuumed the floor. Oh, aren't you just perfect? Well, I am an angel. Girls, it's... It's, it's insane that I gave birth to a demon and an angel. But you guys have to try to get along, please. Nope. Never! Hey, loser. What are you doing? Oh, no. Not you again. Please, please, Molly Demon. Just leave me alone. I need to study for my test. You're such a nerd. If you were cool, you could be a cheerleader like me, but you're not cool. Watch me do my cheerleading routine. It's amazing. No one wants to see you do your cheerleading routine, Molly. Boring. Hey, my cheerleading routine is amazing. And you all should watch right now. <laughs> Boring! So glad you're over it now. Can you leave, please? Wow, for being an angel, you sure are rude. Only to demons. I'm nice to everyone who deserves it, which is pretty much everyone but you, Marley. Haley, are you okay? Um, yeah, thanks, Angel Daisy. I, I just need to study for this test and... Boring! I'm gonna go to the gym and practice my amazing cheerleading moves. Oh, I can help you with that math assignment if you want. Um, I totally get it. And I know it's really hard, Haley. Oh, could you really, Daisy? That would be so helpful. Sure, let me just um, get my book out. Okay, here we go. So, problem number one seems kind of tricky, but if you think about it in a different way. Seriously, Daisy, you really are an angel. Thanks, Haley. I try my best. Welcome to Daisy's Orphanage, little girl. Everything's going to be fine now. You can have plenty of food and love until you get adopted, of course. Come on, you can come meet some of the other kids. Hi, I'm Brittany. Oh, hi, I'm, I'm Sam. Hi, Sam, you want to play with these toys? Yeah, sure. It's my mission as an angel to make sure that every kid who doesn't have a family feels loved and that they have a home in Brookhaven at Daisy's Orphanage. Time to enact my plan of retiring on a beach in Bora Bora. <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> I'll be with you in just a moment. Um, You'll be with me right now or else. What? What? What are you talking? Why do you have that fire extinguisher? Um, you're about to find out if you can't behave yourself and give me all the money. You're seriously gonna spray me with the fire extinguisher? I might. See, full blast right here. Oh my God! You can have everything you want. Just don't spray me with that, please. It'll really hurt. And also, I just had my hair done. Uh, okay. Well, I won't mess up your perfect hair if you give me all the money right now. Okay, fine. Take it all. Stacks of cash. Stacks of cash. I just got me stacks of cash. <laughs> now, is this all of it, banker man? Yes, every last bit. Please, now just go. Okay, but first I'm going to spray you with this. What? No, stop. Oh, I gave you the money. Yeah, but I'm a demon. I'm evil. Duh. <laughs> nurse, nurse. What's it take to get a cup of coffee around here? Man, they're so lazy. I should curse them for life. Molly, is that you? What are you doing here? You're just glowing. You're so good. Ugh, makes me sick to my stomach. 
Well, Molly, you you are on your deathbed, and and well, I came to plead with you one last time. Turn from being a demon and be good, an angel like me. Turn from your evil ways, Molly, before it's too late. You think that after all this time, I want to be like you? <laughs> That doesn't sound promising. Look, you can live forever and be beautiful and, and young and, and good like me. I can't age. It's just impossible for me. <laughs> I'll live forever, all right. I'll live forever. Molly, are you, 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 you a, 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 a demon zombie? Spit it out, Daisy. <laughs> now, I'm going to chase you. FOREVER! What? No, I don't want to spend eternity with a zombie chasing me! Please, no, anything but that! No! <laughs> it's your fate, Goody Two-Shoes! It's your fate! Go to the cemetery where you belong! <laughs> so, is it better to be an angel? Or a demon? 